My client Emily traveled all the way from LA to Toronto to get this $125 hair transformation. She's had long hair her whole life and now it's time to finally cut it all off. I've actually always wanted to cut my hair short yeah. since I was a kid. Today, she came in knowing exactly what she wanted. Blow out taper, yep. as much texture as you can. You already know I had to get to work. So I started off with taking the majority of that hair off, then I took off the bulk, then I cut the sides and the back to get that blowout look. Then I hit her with that low taper. I trimmed the top to her desired length sprayed some in the cut sea salt spray blow dried and scrunched to activate the texture use the brand new in the cut texture clay and scrunch to get maximum texture your hair is long yeah yeah <laughs> you used to just braid it all the time uh -huh. cool all right so you came all the way from los from where? angeles from california los angeles how's the flight long you just landed today this morning yes the weather was bad oh was it delayed yeah at all? it was rainy Damn. i got delayed an hour in chicago yeah what brings you here today um i just to? i've been looking at your work for over a year yeah and i mean I, just, I trusted you yeah cool what do you want to do today you having a reference so a blowout taper yeah kind of what you did on him okay and i as much texture as you can like if you could cut my hair texture yeah, whatever yeah. as much bulk as possible or yes okay, in the cool. back and then i also like i want a little bit more on the edges instead of like not like yes. super short so like a yeah. really low taper yeah and a lot of bulk on the sides yeah right here like i liked how his the front goes yes how come you want to cut it so short now well i've actually always wanted to cut my hair short yeah ever since i was a kid i was not allowed to i was only allowed to get it to my shoulders until yeah, yeah. now you're allowed mm -hmm. how old are you i'm 18 okay okay so it was the 18 where it's like yeah you're allowed now <laughs> yeah how long are you guys staying out here in toronto we leave tomorrow okay okay yeah. so literally just, just enough for you yep okay sick hopefully the weather stays kind of nice before you guys go and how long has it been long for like how long have you been growing it like just before your last haircut at all uh, like three years jeez but I've been seeing like all your products and stuff and I was like, yeah, I have to go to him. Yeah, I actually yeah. got you a sea salt spray you can bring home too. Awesome. Let's just take off a big chunk of bucket. <laughs> all right. Did you have to like mentally prepare it all or you're just like literally just I'm about just like, it? I'm just like, let's just do it. You're just about let's it, Let's just huh? do it. There it goes. <laughs> so you've had your hair around this length for a bit? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When I was little though, like five years old. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Where are you guys staying? At the Bloom. In Toronto. No, okay, yeah. That's good. We're on the outskirts. Do you travel a lot or no? I used to for basketball. Oh, you play basketball? Yeah. Sick. They probably think you're sick being able to just I know. travel to get a haircut. I know. Very blessed. I was like, if I'm going to get done by anyone, I'm going to make sure I'm confident in who's doing my hair. I can guarantee yeah, at least when you're playing ball, it's going to feel, you're going to feel so like faster. Lighter, and sure, yeah. yeah. How long have you been cutting hair? 10 years now. Damn. I know you go to Cali a lot. What do you, yeah, what do so you go there for? I go to like just pretty much just to link up people to do videos, haircut videos and oh, stuff. Oh, gotcha. Kind of network and stuff. Yeah. You guys probably came and were like, wow, this place is so shit. No, <laughs> no. Have you ever done this big of a cut for someone? I have, yeah. One of okay. my boys. Well, his is like four years ago. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah. He's actually done that as my videos. So <laughs> his hair is pretty long. I don't know if it was as long as yours, probably uh -huh. not, but pretty yeah. long, you know? I've had also long hair to buzz cuts. It's pretty crazy. Oh, damn. Yeah. Was it your dad that got you into ball? <laughs> it, actually, no. It was no just way. myself. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. They but your dad was happy though? Yes, he was. Ball? All hey. my cousins in the Philippines were very happy too. <laughs> Do you play ball? I just started playing for fun actually with my boys. Okay. I'm a soccer player though. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played soccer longer. Did you play like for your school? Yeah, yeah. So okay. I played, I played provincial. I played like semi-pro. Oh, damn. Yeah. I had a couple of scholarships, University of Toronto and then Penn State and mm -hmm. then one in England. But like I wasn't going to do anything with soccer. I more like just liked it to be competitive. Exactly. I wasn't really trying to be a pro at it. Uh -huh. Are you trying to play like WNBA type thing? I, feel, I want to become a firefighter. Oh yeah? Yeah, Sick. after college. So you never had the hair short, so you're trying to learn how to style it, I guess, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. We're going to start with the wet hair. Okay. Let's say it'd be like right after your shower, mm -hmm. and then you just kind of towel dry it. That's how wet you'd want it. Like, not soaking, but not also like dry, right? And you get your in the cut sea salt spray. Like smells right good too. It smells good, right? Yeah, they put the line. That shit yeah. smells good. And then with this, you can like scrunch it in. Okay. And like, you really just want to make sure you're just spreading it through your hair. And then blow dry. For the back, you're going to want to like blow dry it up. That's how you're okay. going to get like, that blowout look. Okay. You can like scrunch it and blow dry it like that. Even the sides too, since you have mm -hmm. the length. And then from there, you're just kind of just scrunching it and then blow drying until it's like fully dry. All right. But the reason you scrunch is so that it dries more like bent. Okay. 
It drives more bent and then it gives us that textured look instead of it looking so like flat. Yeah. Then in the front, you see how it's like, I'm just grabbing yeah. and going like, I grab in like a circular like okay. way and then scrunch it. Wavier look, texture look. I already love it. Yeah? Yeah. Sick. Then you grab a clay. I'm gonna use in the cut texture clay. And it comes with like a scoop or two, so you can get like the right amount every time. And you just rub it in your hands. When you first apply it, you don't want to worry about styling right away. Just okay. make sure you evenly spread it again. And then you're gonna notice like all the textures yeah. start coming in. Sick, right? Yeah. You hit it on the spot. Got you. Then to actually style, you're just doing all the same things you're doing when you're drying, but right. now it's actually gonna hold more. Just put the pieces how you want it. Cool? Looks so good. Got you. Hello. 